I'm Venki Ramakrishnan. I'm a molecular biologist at the MRC Lab of Molecular Biology in Cambridge, England, uh, and I'm also the current president of the Royal Society. The, the first part of my lecture uh, has to do with antibiotics and the ribosome. The ribosome, which is the molecule I've spent 40 years working on, is a large molecular machine that translates our genes into proteins, translates the information in our genes into proteins. And many antibiotics work by stopping the ribosomes of bacteria. And if bacteria cannot make proteins, uh, they die. So that's the sort of my personal interest, but I'm going to put that into the context of the overall problem of antibiotic resistance and the things that need to be done uh, to combat that because, as you know, it's a serious worldwide problem. And I'd also like to take the opportunity to say a few words about um, Anglo-Irish science relations uh, since the UK is currently in the middle of negotiating uh, with the EU uh, about the results of the referendum, you know, uh, in 2016. So, and what that means for science. And my hope that um, the UK will continue to be fully engaged uh, with Europe-wide science. Coming to the Royal Irish Academy is both an honor and a pleasure. Uh, it's an honor to be giving one of these discourses. Uh, it's also a pleasure because uh, it is a sister academy uh, to the Royal Society. And as uh, the president of the Royal Society, uh, I'm particularly pleased to come here and meet uh, my colleagues here in Ireland. I think it's very important for scientists to communicate science to the public for a variety of reasons. First of all, science is part of our culture. It's part of human knowledge. And it is exciting. And it's, it's important to share that excitement uh, with as broad a, an audience as possible. Uh, a second reason is that we live in a highly technological age in which lots of decisions are based on science and technology, both by government and by corporations and they all affect all of us, these decisions. So it's important for the public to be very informed, at least about the broad principles and, uh, you know, of what's going on in science and what science is about. And the third reason is simply uh, that we owe it to them because a lot of science is funded by the taxpayer. And it's important for the public to know what is being done with their money, uh, simply as a matter of accountability and transparency. So I think for a variety of reasons it is important uh, and it's, a, it's part of the social compact that we have.